What's up YouTube, Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Today we're going to go through how to engrave a iPhone 6 on a Haas vertical mount. First and foremost, if you have a laser engraver, that is the way to do this. This way is a little bit sketchy. I've never done it before, but we're going to find out if we can. Second of all, do not use your real iPhone in there. This is an old iPhone that I uh, took for a swim about six months ago, so it's not functional. Third of all, be super, super careful when you're doing this. If you go through the back of your iPhone with an engraving tool into the lithium ion battery, there's gonna be flames shooting out of this thing. Be careful. All that said, we're gonna use a very fine point engraving tool. I know some of my other videos I've used just a chamfer melt. Today we're actually gonna use a real engraving tool. I'll show you that when we're setting up for it. Um, if you have another kind of phone and you want to try this, feel free. Um, besides that, let's take a look. Let's go program it up. Let's see what we can do. So this is my anchor. Um, I had this drawn up from uh, an engraving I did on a signet ring previously. Um, the back of the phone here, I basically just drew the dimensions of the phone. I don't care about the rads on the corners because I'm not going to be using them. Um, and this is kind of the safe area where I can engrave. So I had to make my engraving fit within this area on the back of the phone. I'm um, just using a contour here with no offset. So here in the cut parameters, compensation type off. Um, I programmed as a 132 ball ML. That's just kind of a hangover I have from uh, when we didn't use to have engraving tools properly set up in Mastercam 8.1. So I mean, I just use that. Doesn't really matter. Um, no depth cuts, no lead in, lead out. If you try to engrave with a lead in, lead out, obviously it's going to have a whole bunch of tool pass on there that you don't want. And I'm only going down to thou. Um, I really want to make sure I don't do anything dumb here. I want to make sure I don't puncture my battery and shoot flames out the machine or anything. So I'm just going to go down to thou and coolant. I don't want any coolant done. Um, although this phone is toast, I do not want to uh, get it covered in oil and stuff. You know, maybe I can use some of the parts out of it at some point. So there we go. Um, obviously, master cam, select all operations, regen, post. Pretty easy to post from here. Let's go downstairs, let's try it out. successfully engrave an iPhone 6 in a melt. I haven't seen anybody else do it yet. I'm sure people have with drag engravers and stuff. Just goes to show you can always make do with what you have. Don't be afraid to experiment with stuff. Um, I had this phone sitting in my desk for about four months. Sitting there. Why not take it and try something with it? You know, engraving on the screen, I've never seen anybody do that. Uh, I'm not trying to call myself an innovator. I'm just saying, get out there and try it. Who cares? If I destroy this phone, well, at least now everybody who's watched this video knows we can try it. We can do it. It's, it's possible. Um, you know, don't be afraid to push the envelope a little bit. Be safe, you know, take reasonable safety precautions, but don't be afraid to make mistakes. If I crash this phone, who cares? You know, as long as I shoot flames at the side and burn my building down, you know, that would kind of suck, but. Besides that, you know, get out of there, get messy. 
Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Appreciate you coming out and hanging out with me. If you want to see more videos, make sure you like and subscribe below. Thank you very much. You take care.